Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we have um, a pork chop easy French onion pork chop recipe that I thought I'd share with you. Here are the ingredients. Very, very simple, great for a day that you're not feeling <laughs> up to par cooking. I have a nine by 13 glass dish and I'm spraying it there with just some oil. That is a sprayer I got from Amazon that I really like. Um, and I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, there are the pork chops I got from my local shop and, um, we don't eat pork a lot, but when I do, um, I don't like it to be dry. So this is a nice recipe because of the sauce on top. So I'm just simply putting them in the greased pan. Couldn't be easier. <laughs> and they're boneless and I'm salting them with some coarse kosher salt and using some everyday seasoning from Trader Joe's, or you could use some cracked black pepper, whatever you have in your stash there. And then um, what have we got going on? Some French onion dip that I got um, from Kroger there. You can see, just scoop out as much as you need for your pork chops. You could put a couple more pork chops in here really. Um, and just spread that out on top or you could use some seasoned sour cream if you didn't have French onion dip and some onions. You could totally improvise this, but if you have it in your, in your fridge, you can just smear it on there. And um, then I shredded up some sharp, sharp cheddar cheese. Mine is a white block. I think I got it from Costco, the big uh, block you can get there. And it just tastes delicious when you shred it yourself because it doesn't have the, it's not tossed in the stuff that they toss it pre-shredded cheese in, but oh, it was so tasty. And then the crispy onions, you could use French's or whatever. I had this from my local shop and um gives some great flavor as well as a little bit of crunch and I just sprinkled that on there just a third of a cup or whatever half a cup and then you're going to put that into the oven for 35 to 40 minutes ours was done at 35 minutes and there you can see it there cheesy ooey gooey goodness and um my daughter was very excited <laughs> I was just taking the temperature just in case it was like 182 so it was well over so I probably could have done it for 30 minutes and we scooped them out. I just uh, cooked some steamed green beans with butter and seasoning and dill. Some pear applesauce there because I'm German. I got to have my applesauce with my pork. I don't know what it is. Is that a German thing? I feel like it was in our German household. But <laughs> um, anyway, there it is. Thanks, guys. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe. And I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Have a great day. I hope you try this recipe out.